In 2021, a humpback whale gulped Michael down while he was out in the ocean fishing for lobsters in Provincetown. As a lobster diver, Michael is faced with great danger from the strong currents of the waters and is pushed towards very dangerous sea animals every time he dives into the ocean. That fateful day, sometime around 8am, he took a second dive into the water to fish for lobsters. He had no idea that he was going to be swallowed by a whale. As he was diving, he felt something massive nudge his side, and suddenly he was thrown into darkness. As he opened his eyes, he realized he was no longer in the ocean. Instead, he was in the belly of a whale. He checked around the whale's guts and didn't find any wounds that indicated that he'd been swallowed by a great white shark. He started to struggle to find a way out of the whale's guts. Suddenly, light shined on him. The whale at that time had surfaced and moved its head vigorously and regurgitated Michael back into the ocean. He estimated the time he spent in the whale's guts to be about 30 to 40 seconds before the whale spat him into the ocean. His sister, who happened to be on the ocean's bank, witnessed the whale spitting him out. She immediately called for help and he was rushed to the Cape Cod Hospital for treatment. He survived the whale experience with a few injuries, a dislocated knee, and minimal damage to some of his soft tissues. He would not have lived to tell his story if he was swallowed by a white sperm whale rather than the humpback whale that swallowed him. Aside from Michael's experience, there have been other reports from people who have spent some time in whale's guts. For example, Rainer Schimpf got swallowed by a bride's whale in South Africa in 2007. Rainer was taking photographs off the coast of South Africa before he got swallowed by the whale. He instantly held his breath till the whale quickly spat him out again. But what will happen if you do not get spat out as fast as Michael Packard and Rainer Schimpf were? Before I answer that question, a lot of people think a whale is interested in eating a human. They're among the largest creatures in the world and are an indispensable linkage in the ecosystem. Most whales feed on small marine creatures and the humpback whales feed on krill. When it approaches a school of krill, they drive themselves ahead with an outburst of energy, opening their mouths wide and gulping everything that comes their way down. Some whales, like the whale shark, know not to eat humans. So if they accidentally gulp down something they shouldn't be eating, these whales will spit you out. Only one species of whales can be attested to being capable of swallowing a human alive. A lot of people would think that it's the blue whale. This species of whales have huge mouths that can hold over a hundred people at a time. Even though they keep their mouths wide open when traveling across the ocean, there are baleen plates in their mouth. Even if a human makes it past the blue whale's baleen plates, its esophagus is about 25 centimeters in diameter, which is too small for a human to slide in. Only one species of whale would swallow us, humans, successfully. And those are the sperm whales. The sperm whales have conical teeth on their long and narrow lower jaw, and they feed on both fish and squid. Because they have wide throats, they're capable of swallowing a human whole. A colossal 46-foot-long octopus was found once in the stomach of a sperm whale. The sharp, conical teeth of these sperm whales, which are the largest teeth any whale species can shred their victim's skin to pieces. Their teeth are about 4 to 8 inches long, and they have 40 to 50 of these deadly contraptions. But being cut up is not the most dangerous thing that can happen to you in a whale's guts. Even if you make it past its deadly sharp teeth, you still have to squeeze through its tight throat. A whale's throat is not only tight, but it's very dark and murky. The lack of oxygen and high content of methane in its throat may make you feel dizzy or lightheaded a bit. Cases of getting swallowed by the 65-foot-long sperm whales are very rare because most people may never encounter them in their lifetime. These diving animals, which live mainly in the open sea, are found all over the world. 
How can you escape being sliced through the whale's teeth? Is there any hope to survive the stinging acids in the whale's stomachs? What time would be a terrible time to try to escape its guts? I'll share with you some ways to avoid becoming a whale's dinner. The first thing you'd want to bear in mind is that it is very dark in a whale's guts. As easy as it sounds, it is mostly a terrible experience. With Packard's whale experience, we already kind of have an idea of what the body goes through in a whale's body. The next thing is to wear protective clothing before you go swimming in the ocean. It might seem a bit weird if you show up wearing a protective suit to swim with the whales, but it could be a huge lifesaver. You have more chance of surviving if your suit can withstand the harsh hydrochloric acid in a whale's stomach. A neoprene suit can do the job well, and it has been proven to be able to withstand the harsh stomach environment. You would also need a breathing hose and an oxygen tank, as there'll be no air to breathe. If you eventually get engulfed by the whale, the first thing you'd want to do in a whale's mouth is to roll your body up into a ball. Move your limbs as close to your body as possible and bring your chin close to your chest area. Rolling up in a ball that is as tight as possible will minimize the surface area of your body and reduce the risk of being bitten by the teeth of the whale. A sperm whale has about 20 teeth on either side of its lower jaws. So even when you roll up into a tight ball, you will have to be extremely lucky to pass through the sharp teeth without an arm or a leg getting chomped off. But you would at least have a better chance. The next thing is to calm down and avoid panicking. I know that it's hellish and excruciating, but you do not have time to entertain fear. In this kind of situation, you need to listen to your intuition to be able to escape. As soon as you get engulfed in the whale's mouth, have a feel around its mouth before it gulps you down. It is going to be very dark in its mouth, but if you are able to hold on to something, you will avoid getting burned and melted inside any of its stomachs. You can try to hang on to the walls of its esophagus, but it can get very challenging because they are very slimy and covered in mucus. The next thing is to wait to get regurgitated by the whale. Rainer Schimpf was really lucky to be spat out by the Brider's whale before he got gulped down, so it might work for you to be able to stay alive till then. Luckily, sperm whales have to bath every couple of hours, and if you could survive that long, you will be spat out with its bath. Before you get too elated, your ultimate survival is dependent on how deep in the ocean you get bathed out. Whales can dive as low as 3,300 feet, while humans can only dive as low as 65 feet unaided. If the whale is considering spitting at the bottom of the ocean, your chance of surviving is very low, as you will be at more risk of drowning or getting eaten by another dangerous sea creature. While you wait to be spat out, you need to be mindful of the whale's stomach acids. Whales squeeze you into their stomach with their muscles and begin to dissolve foreign bodies with hydrochloric acid. Once you go down the throat, you end up in one of its four stomachs. You might come across a bioluminescent squid in the stomach. If you do, the glow from this squid will light up your skin enough for you to see it's burning from the whale's hydrochloric acid. As you move through the rest of the whale's stomach and guts, more acids further disintegrate your skin, organs, and muscles. A sailor that supposedly survived being eaten by a sperm whale claimed the hydrochloric acid only bleached his skin white and blinded his eyes. His story is not completely scientifically accurate, but it's something to look forward to if you get a very rare opportunity. The last thing on our list today is to completely avoid sperm whales. I think the wisest thing to do to avoid being swallowed by a whale is to steer clear of them completely. You have a greater chance of surviving if any other whale species aside from the sperm whale swallows you. I'm sure that you figured out that surviving being swallowed by a giant whale is rare. Luckily, whales do not usually care so much about humans to even want to eat them. Instead of worrying about being swallowed by a whale, you should worry about sharks. On that note, we have come to the end of this video. Let us know in the comments section if you like this video and want to see more content like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.